Well, hello everyone, it's Pete here. In this video, I'm going to be doing some more speed comparisons between NIM batteries and LiPo batteries. Oh no, not more NIM versus LiPo comparisons, Pete. Haven't you done this to death already in various other videos? Ah, well, what if I told you I've done speed comparisons after set amounts of run times and maybe the results will blow your mind? You're interested now, aren't you? What do you mean, no? Anyway, this time I'm using Tamiya lunchboxes. The yellow one's got a 3,500 kV brushless motor and the black and white one's got a standard silver cam brushed motor. In case you're unaware, when I say NIM battery, that's the NIMH battery, which is an older technology. And LiPo's are the lithium polymer batteries, which is a newer technology. LiPo batteries do have a better performance, but there's a slight chance they might go on fire, so you need to charge and store them safely. So first up, let's do speed tests with both cars with both types of battery when they're fully charged. First up, we've got the brushless lunchbox with the 2S LiPo battery. Both of these lunchboxes have got the standard gearing, which is the 10 tooth pinion. I've tested this brushless one before with LiPo and it got 25 miles an hour on tarmac. Let's see how much the grass slows it down. Okay, so 24 miles per hour on 2S LiPo brushless. Next up is the NIM battery in the brushless lunchbox. On the face of it, it doesn't look much different really. I'm expecting it to be slower with the NIM battery, but by the look of it, not much slower. Okay, so 22 miles per hour for the brushless lunchbox with the NIM battery, a couple of miles per hour slower than with the LiPo battery. Next up is the brushed lunchbox with the 2S LiPo battery. If you're interested, the graphics on this one are a sticker licker sticker bomb, and there's a separate video about that. It's obviously slower than the brushless one, but it's still quick enough to have a bit of fun. Let's see what we get. It's 19 miles per hour for the brushed car with a 2S LiPo battery. Lastly in this section we've got the brushed car with the NIM battery. Again it doesn't seem too much slower than with the LiPo battery but let's have a look and see how fast it is. So at 17 miles per hour for the brushed lunchbox with the NIM battery. Again, it's dropped a couple of miles per hour over the LiPo battery. So there you go, some lovely data for you RC nerds to enjoy. So as if all that data wasn't exciting enough, what we're going to do now is test both battery types over time. Ah, that's woken you up, hasn't it? Now I've only done this test over time with the brushless truck because basically life's too short to be playing with the brushed truck for two hours. It was difficult to keep exact run times so on a stopping and starting and videoing and all that. And then there were golfers playing actual golf down the motor hell. But the runs with both battery types were largely similar. So let's just check the speed again for this with a fresh LiPo battery. Since the first speed runs, I've got the new fancy Bluetooth speed meter. Let's see if the app actually works. Yeah, we've got 24 miles an hour again. So now I'm going to run the lunchbox for 10 minutes and take another speed reading. So now we've got 22 miles per hour, it's lost 2 miles per hour in 10 minutes. Now I'm going to run it for another 10 minutes so it'll be an accumulated time of 20 minutes. Now it's going 21 miles an hour, so we've only lost one mile per hour in that 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna run it for another 20 minutes, so it'll be an elapsed run time of 40 minutes. Now this is the last speed reading I took, but it did run for a little while after this. Now it's doing 19 miles per hour, so it's lost another couple of miles per hour. Now I've changed to the NIM battery, let's see if we get the same speed when it's fully charged. Yeah, so 22 miles per hour, which is the same as it got with the NIM battery first time. As with the LiPo battery, let's see how much speed it loses after 10 minutes of runtime. After 10 minutes runtime, it's gone down to 21 miles per hour, so it's only lost one mile per hour over fully charged. Again, I'm going to run it for 10 more minutes, so it'll be an elapsed time of 20 minutes. 
This idea of testing the different battery types after set amounts of runtime came from Michael at Nordic RC Vision. So thanks, Michael, if you're watching. Oh, Michael loves a bit of nerdy data, he does. Now, amazingly, it's still 21 miles per hour, so it hasn't lost any speed in the last 10 minutes. As with the LiPo, I'm going to run it for another 20 minutes, so it'll be an elapsed runtime of 40 minutes. So I went on the path to avoid the pesky golfists, and then there were pesky cyclists. Oh, so annoying. Now to my great surprise, after 40 minutes of running, it's still going 21 miles per hour. Like I was saying before, it's difficult to keep track of exact run times when I'm videoing and looking at the speed meter and all that. I think both batteries went for about 50 minutes. So editors leave my theory that NIM batteries lose their speed much more quickly than LiPo batteries. But well, it's all shot to pieces, isn't it? What was I even thinking? One thing I would say is that the LiPo battery used in this has been used many, many, many times. Whereas the NIM battery hasn't been used that many times. I mainly got it just to do the comparisons. Also, the NIM battery is a 5000 mAh battery as opposed to the 4000 mAh. Having said all that, though, I think if you've got a little Tammy and you're a bit worried about LiPos and the possibility of fire, then a big NIM battery isn't too bad. I think the big difference with LiPo batteries comes when you go 3S and above, as I discovered when I did a similar test of my armor trucks. If you found this video helpful in any way, then please give me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment. That's it for this one. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.